Right, morning everybody. Uh, been kindly invited out again by Stevie. Morning Stevie. Morning. And uh, there's Manda at the top. He's <laughs> got a new friend down here, look at Look at the size of that fella. Anyway. Right, I think I've heard, I've heard Mandy's had a threatening bet up to yet and Stevie's had a hapenny with the Irish harp on. But we're at the sad part of the video already, first hole. And we've just got ourselves a pigeon ring. I'll read that out for you. GB81 W062. It's quite a nice one actually, it looks almost gold. Alright, let's carry on then. Let's go find some silver and gold. See you in a minute. Hi guys, just in this field here now. There's Mandy. Hello. Hello. Right, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had a uh, spoon, spoon handle. Thought that was a shilling when it came out, but it's the usual button. And for me now, I've just had a little George III half penny. And you can see his head there. Flip it that way. You can just see Britannia's head just about there. And, uh, yeah, cool. Alright. What have you had? That man has had a little threatened. Got a date off it, man. 1943. So, World War II. George V. 6th. George VI. I can walk in seconds on that. Piece of crap. Right, there you go. Let's carry on. I'll see you in a bit. Right, chaps. Uh, I've left them pair in that field. I've come into this uh, little one here. It's quite steep, actually. It goes, drops right down there towards the canal. Um, not filmed much again, as usual, but I had a shocker when that came out. <laughs> could, could just see the bloody edge again sticking out of the soil. Uh, gold gilded button. Uh, can't read what it says, but uh, yeah, that's fine. Another button, Tom back button. Obviously, you saw that. This was another button. It's got a bit of a design around the edge. I don't know if you can actually see it, but uh, yeah. But from here, I've just had a a Georgian buckle, a little shoe buckle. It's broken to pieces, like so. Yeah, it's a shame that. But they aren't fresh breaks. Anyway, we'll carry on. Put that to one side. Alright, we'll carry on. Uh, down here. Well, I'll see you in a bit. Is it? Yeah. Oh, cool. Right, uh, just caught up with Mandy and Stevie. Stevie's had a nice clean, I'll show you in a minute. I just had a little buckle here. Um, thinking medieval at the moment but I'm sure Pete Cressy will have uh, his opinion on that for me <laughs> he, he's a good lad um, what else have I had blob of lead it was possibly something at the time maybe a weight or something it's got a bit of patina on it so it's quite old but uh, yeah not a very successful day for me but check this George III out here what Stevie's had never seen nothing like that come out the ground George three half penny 1799, look at the detail on that, that's amazing. You can even see the ship on the sea. That was next door to it, look at that. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's unbelievable, that is. You can see the ship there, look at the ship there. Please. Yeah. Oops, wait. Not too far. Amazing. Best George 3 I've seen come out of the ground ever. Best one I've ever had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, there's quite a few coins. Yeah, had a, bit, a few coins. Is that a nice silver yeah. today? Vicky, 1845. The early one, yeah. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, very good day. A few half pennies, isn't it? Yeah, not bad. Eddie, Eddie 7. I thought that'd be another George 3. That was a big penny, wasn't it? Yeah. We'll go for. Yeah. Most of them are George 3. You can just better see the heads on yeah. most of them are George 3. Cool. Uh, Mandy's had. Possibly a hammered, possibly a Willy 3 because it's got a bit of a 
a bit of a kink in it. Do you want one of these boxes? Um, it's thin enough to be a hammered, but we're airing, we're airing on the hammered. Yeah, hammered slash William Third slash Queen Anne slash. Well, Mandy's here, it's hammered, when Mandy's gone, it's possibly a Willie. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the feel of it, it feels like a love token because there's a bit of a ridge there and it's bent over there, so it's more than likely a Willie 3, but. Still, it's good find. Yeah. So, have you anything else? No. 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 Right, I think uh, we're getting close to the end now, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Um, literally. Nearly my tea time. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you again. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Alright, she had the palm guard with a, with a, with a copper coating. Ooh, and a horse brass. Oh, decoration. Yeah. I want a ring. Here we go. She had a ring. Anything else you got in there, one? You said that could possibly be a pot leg. Part of a pot leg, possibly, yeah. Okay, are we done? Anything else? Any, <laughs> any more in that? <laughs> <laughs> Your secret stash. Yeah, 1943 threepence. We've got that film, that's already Georgia Sex. Have you? Yeah. Right, that's it then for today, so uh, see you on the next one. Please subscribe and like and comment, and I'll see you in a bit. Alright, morning everybody. Uh, out again with uh, my new friend Phil. A lovely young chap. Uh, let us on again. Uh, we're out with Craig as well today for Four King Diggers. He's just nipped around the corner of these trees somewhere. I'll get him on filming him in. Alright, uh, yeah, we're right back on this uh, May Stubble Field uh, where I had the couple of medieval weights from. And. Somewhere under here, I've just had another very unusual weight. Uh, it's got a lead pin through it again. Not sorry, it's lead with an iron pin through it, should I say? That's a very strange shape, that one is. <laughs> I've seen one like that before. I do like finding these, it's cool. I've got quite a few of these now. Uh, so, yeah, I had a button. As you know, this field's covered in buttons. So, uh, yeah, hoping you have a good day today. Hoping for some hammers uh, today, which would be nice. But uh, thanks again to Phil for inviting us out. And he's uh, got a new shovel, you can see. Right, let's carry on. And I'll see you in a bin. In a bin, or in a bit. Bye. Right, just caught up with Phil. Hi, Phil. Hi, you alright? Yeah, sound, mate, sound. Right, he's had a bit of silver. There you go, look at that. Nice, right, 1881 uh, yeah, Threepence, yeah. Queen Victoria, upside down, Queen Victoria, yeah, that'll clean up lovely, that's got a good head on it. What were you, silver paper? Bit of, bit of silver bit, paper, bit yeah, file. yeah, sweet, well done Phil, so what we've been going about 20 minutes, half an hour. Oh, that's all, yeah. There yeah. you go, it's silver in the bag, well done, right, I'll see you on the next one. Okay. I do, Craig. <laughs> right, quick uh, round up halfway through the dig. Uh, I've had about four queens up to here. That one's a strange one there. Uh, looks like you can see a head looking left. Looks like a George IV. Uh, it says George just down it, but I can't see any Britannia on the back. Anyway, that doesn't matter. I've had a George the Sex penny. I don't know what the date is on there. Yeah. 1948 or something like that. I'll clean this up, it'll be in the picture anyway. That there's a Vicky. Uh, Vicky Penny. Ship Half Penny. Queen Elizabeth II. Crusty one. Oh, I've had a mussy ball. This interests me. I don't know what this is. It's got some kind of. Uh, Design on that end there looks very Illuminati. Well, I don't know what that is. Uh, it's obviously old some fabric or something like that. I don't know. But uh, waiting for some feedback on that one at the moment. And again, here we go, another one. 
another steel yard weight. Well, that's one, two, three, four, about seven off here. And uh, so, whether it's been a trading field at some point, I don't know. But uh, I've had three of them now, the triangle ones, the spherical conical ones. Pete says it fell, sorry. Phil says he's had a couple of three of them. So that makes about seven big weights off here. So, uh, yeah, interesting. Still no hammer to come up off here, though. And only the two silvers that I know of. I don't know where Phil is. Phil's over there, up by the poo somewhere. Right, let's carry on. They're very belting signals. I don't know how people have missed them over the years. But there you go. Right, let's crack on. Right, come to the end of the day now. There's my mate Craig. There's my mate Phil. Hiya. Uh, we've all had quite a few nice finds. We've all had some weights. Craig's had another uh, uh, a weight. And then shipyard, steel yard weight things. Yeah, Craig's had another steel yard weight. That um, makes uh, eight of them off here now. So we're probably thinking yeah. that's a well, little trade site, isn't it? Could, so could well be. But the they, well, they must have been trading buttons then. <laughs> yeah. so, but uh, I spotted this in uh, Phil's finds. And if you look close enough, you've got two heads on there. So it's a William Mary. Uh, which is quite cool, you can see two heads. William at the back. Uh, sorry about the traffic. But uh, there's the date, 16... Possibly 1698, I can So yeah, that's a cool find, find of the day, I would say that. I like that one. Right, we're off uh, now, it's going dark, so we'll uh, see you on the next one. Right. See you, see, see you Phil, everybody. thank you very much again. You're welcome. Cheers Mucky, see you soon.